Okay, it's my running around day. Um, I don't even think I actually said an official good morning to you today. <laughs> but it is now 10 o'clock. I need to leave. I have um, a doctor's appointment and some errands to run back where I used to live, about an hour away. So that's where I'm headed now, and I don't anticipate that I'm gonna get to do a whole lot of recording while I'm away, um, but I don't think it'll be super exciting watching me go to the doctor and <laughs> um, grocery shop, although it is my more favorite grocery store. That's why I always go there when I'm out to the west. Um, yeah, I'm hoping it does not take me the rest of the day to do all this, quite frankly, because I would like to get back home and have time to um, work on some other things, both work-wise and personally. I pulled this um, scarf out. This was what I worked on a couple of advents ago, and I may have already mentioned, I never got all of my winter accessories out recently, but I really wanted to wear this scarf today, and so... I pulled that bin out of my closet, but in order to get to that bin, I had to take like two other bins out. <coughs> Excuse me. So they're just out in my bedroom and I really need to take care of them. But while they're out, I'm going to go ahead and go through them and pull out some other accessories that I want to have access to this winter. So maybe I will get to show you that. And I never got to make the cookies that I made the batter for yesterday. So there's cookie dough still in the fridge. Hopefully I'll get to that later today. Who knows? But right now I got to get going and I'm stopping at the post office first to drop off all the shipping that I processed yesterday. So onward. <laughs> I just arrived at the doctor's office. I'm about 15 minutes early though, so I'm just gonna hang out in my car for a little bit because I know they're preferring that you don't come in early and have to sit in the waiting room any longer than necessary. So I'll just hang out here. I did bring some crochet with me. Um, I wasn't going to because I wasn't anticipating having a lot of waiting time, but I threw a few balls from my advent minis in here along with my crochet hook, so. I'm trying to map out what I want to do and in what order after my doctor's appointment because I have at least three stops I have to make possibly four wait one two three possibly five <laughs> um, I'm not sure how ambitious I'm feeling though about two of them so I may just forget those altogether um, or do one or the other but not both I don't know I, I, I try to cram in as much as I can when I'm out at this end of the world because I don't get here that often I only come out here maybe twice a month um, I just I dread the drive anymore I don't like having to drive all the way out here like I said it's about an hour away from where I live now um, but there's so much that I like to do like I love to grocery shop here because the grocery store that I used to shop at when I lived out here um, is it's more expensive but they have really really good like there's a fresh fish counter and the meats really good um, 
I don't need to buy as much meat as I used to since I don't eat it anymore and Emma doesn't eat meat. Um, but, you know, Bill still needs meat. Um, their produce is excellent and, you know, that's, that's kind of the big thing. So anyway, I always do a grocery trip and I'm hoping that today's grocery trip will be like my last big grocery trip for the year. Um, aside from maybe needing to run out and get a little bit of produce, although we do have Misfits Market, that's coming this week our misfits shipment and then we'll probably have one more this month I get it every other week at this point um, so yeah this will probably be a big grocery shopping day which will take a while I didn't get to tell you what I'm wearing this is the Seamark pullover that I I knit earlier this year it was going to be a show sample this year it went to one show and then shows stopped um, it's really funny I've been wearing it it's nice and boxy and comfy um, I'm, I'm realizing as I was driving though that the sleeves, like this sleeve, is much roomier down at the cuff than this sleeve. This one's much more fitted. And I don't know how I never noticed that before. Maybe I did know that whenever I first made it and I forgot. I don't know. It's comfortable and it's, I don't think anybody would like go, ooh, look how weird those look. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so this sweater, and this was made out of my ridge top. Uh, DK white base in the lime colorway. Um, the scarf, I think I already told you, it's the one I did during Advent two years ago. I don't remember the name of the pattern. It's just a nice chevron pattern though, and this is actually the wrong side of it, but the way I'm wearing it, that's what's showing there. So, And I have one of my Birdie Parker um, shawl cuffs on. Actually, I only have one of her shawl cuffs, but I've got several Bertie Parker things like bracelets and earrings because I love her stuff. Okay, done at the doctor's office. Now going to run into Lowe's. Okay, so I just left Lowe's. I'm on my, I'm going to go to Chipotle because I'm hungry and I don't want to grocery shop hungry because you know what happens whenever that, when you do that. Anyway, Lowe's took me a little longer than I was hoping. Um, I went in to get Bill a Christmas present, and my initial plan for what I was going to get ended up being ridiculous. Like, I couldn't figure out what would be the right thing. So I thought, nope, not going to do that. So I basically was wandering around the tool department in Lowe's thinking, okay, what doesn't he have? Because seriously, the man owns just about every tool ever created. But I figured there has to be something he could use. And lo and behold, I did find something. It's not something that he'll probably use often, but it's one of those tools that like, when you can use it, it's really, really helpful. So hopefully he'll like it. If not, we can take it back and he can get store credit. <laughs> but Chipotle is next, then grocery shopping, and then possibly one of my optional stops. I've already ruled out the other optional stop. That's not happening. I'm not doing that today. Okay, food. So what I should have done was just sat over in the Lowe's parking lot and made my order online so that I could then pick it up. I should have actually done that before I went into Lowe's because then it would be ready by now. But I didn't think about it ahead of time. So now I'm just sitting here waiting for my order to be ready so that I can run in and grab it and not have to be around people any longer than I have to. I'm really hungry though. And I never get to eat at Chipotle because we don't have one near us. It's only when I come out here I get to sometimes get Chipotle. <laughs> my food is ready. My hands have been sanitized. And now I'm going to eat my lunch because it is here and it's so good. And it smells amazing. So fritos burrito. Yum. This is so good. I appreciate Chipotle way more now that I don't live near one. Hmm. <clears throat> need to add some air to my tire <clears throat> because it's low. I know this is super exciting. This tire has a slow leak, and in the cold weather, 
it happens more often. So anyway, Getco has free air, so yay for free air. Everybody should have free air, right? All filled up, back up to 32 PSI or pounds or whatever that is. Thank you, Gecko. Okay, I've got a big list. It's kind of crowded. I need to focus. Look at the pineapples. <laughs> All right, time to shop. See you on the flip side. An hour and a half later, and a full cart, and way too much walking around in there with too many people, and I'm done. Not just done grocery shopping, I'm done. I'm done with today. If I could go home right this second, I would, but I can't. I have to stop at my girlfriend's house yet and drop stuff off in a socially distanced manner. There's, I'm doing no other stops, optional or otherwise. I'm, I'm done with today. It's 10-3. I'm tired. I used to love to grocery shop until the pandemic hit. And now anytime I go grocery shopping, I do like giant trips so I don't have to go very often. <sighs> so tired. Plus, I was sitting here in my car just now and a guy pulled in next to me and I just watched him put his mask on and it was like over his eyes before his car was completely stopped and not parked. <laughs> I mean, thank you sir for wearing your mask, but can you maybe wait until your car is safely parked before you start putting it on and, and um, compromise your vision? Okay, I'm gonna do this last stop. I'm probably not gonna record at my girlfriend's house just for the sake of her own privacy, um, but I'll see you when I get home.